you guys doing? So today I want to start with um, pretty much I want to start a new video series here, and I want to basically I guess I can call this the the P2R Honda Accord reset project and our 2019 race progress with this car. So it's been a couple of years since we've been consistent and pretty much winning solid races with this car. I mean, it's been kind of a little, a little race here, a little race there. Um, no real solid series that we've been competing in for a long period of time. Um, go back four, five, six years ago and we were running consistently, running the car three, four times a month, running the Farah series, running the NASA Honda Challenge. You know, we kind of backed off a little bit. So I think it's time we start getting this car uh, reset, resurrected. We'll bring the car back out and get competitive and be up, win another championship with the car. I mean, the car has the potential to do so. Um, well, we believe so. We think we can be really solid. We just got to get back on the track and get um, get it going again. So with that, I'm going to give you a quick tour around the car, show you what's on the car now. So that way, as you follow us um, in this YouTube series that we're going to have here, you'll see what we install, when we install it, and how we do it. And um, just let you see where the car is starting from now. We have uh, the Anki wheels. I think these are called the PFO ones. They come down here. We're running a 13 inch four piston Willwood caliper setup that we got from Fast Brakes with a two piece rotor to kind of reduce a little weight. There. We come to the back. And. In the rear, we're running the stock caliper, but we're running a bigger rotor. I don't remember what it's off of, but I know it's 12, only eight inches, I believe. Uh, we recently took the wing off. I'm gonna try something there. Rear glass is uh, made out of Lexan, got two air holes. Kinda try to relieve pressure out the back glass there. It's also is custom, full three inch all the way back. Try to get under here. Progress rear sway bar. You can see the Coney yellow shocks, factory end links. Kind of can see the exhaust. Straight back, no resonators. We got a Burns stainless steel uh, race muffler with a megaphone. It flares up to five inches and then back to four and a half. Back up here. around the other side of the car take a peek on the inside got a little bit of trash in here right now as you see we have our fuse box here these are all the fuses that are on the car it's just a uh, starter main switch and fuel start we have an AEM OBD2 gauge here fuel ratio gauge starter button there just a basic RPM gauge sparkle steering wheel sparkle basic sparkle seat the next roll cage camera mount. Come back out. Got kill switch. This door does not open. It's literally nothing there. It's just the actual skin of the door. So if I go in, you can see there's nothing in the door. There's no hinges. There's no latches or anything like that. I'm gonna pause the camera here and I'm gonna pop the hood. Oh, also the hood is uh, carbon fiber hood. Okay, so the hood is popped. Um, some of the most obvious things you'll see here, like a stock intake manifold on the car. Uh, we actually had the P2R power plenums on here, but since we're no longer offering that product, we kind of tried to uh, run what we're gonna be offering. So for now, remove the power plenums. All we're running is these new thermal gaskets that go here and there. Got the P2R block off plate for the secondaries, thermal uh, gasket there. We're running a small uh, battery here. That's where our battery goes. Uh, our header is a custom header that we made. But you know, that wouldn't clear anybody else's fans or anything like that. There's not a lot of room there. Um, 
Custom four inch intake. Run a Blocks uh, 76 millimeter throttle body. Uh, the intake manifold was ported by us. And I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, the transmission's got a straight cut third and fourth gear. We're running our six gear cuff, which eliminates the six gear but keeps the main shaft and the counter shaft together. And um, that's really it. Stock radiator. Uh, run the, if you haven't known, this is a strut bar off of an Acura TL, but it's a factory one. And not much more to it. I mean, outside of that, it's a fairly stock accord. With that, I want to answer some of the basic questions, or some of the questions I get I, uh, pretty much all the time. Uh, one of the questions is, what engine are we running? Um, with racing, I mean, when you're running a lot, you're not running the same setup every week to week. But, um, so, what we're going to do right now is we're resetting. Right now, the car is a completely stock J32A2 engine. That comes on my old 203 Acura TL or CL Type S. And we're running a two, uh, J32A3 transmission from a 2006 Acura TL. Another question that's always asked for me all the time is, um, well, how much horsepower does the car make? Well, that ranges. On average, the car is right around the 300 horsepower mark. I would say the lowest we've made with our current setup, completely stock engine internally, is about 280, 285 in that area. On a healthy motor, we get as much as about 305 to 310 horsepower. Um, that's pretty much the most we've seen on um, the stock engine. So one of the things I wanted to do, or one of the things we wanted to do here, uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to freshen up the car. So I went ahead and I restarted that. We actually pulled the gas tank out of the car last week and um, I just replaced with a brand new fuel pump. Went right, went back with an original Honda pump because, to be honest, we don't need a lot of extra fuel right now for what we're doing. So we went ahead and put the, a brand new pump from Honda, a new filter. Uh, when I took the gas tank out, I wasn't too happy with the condition of the tank, so I went ahead and bought a, a brand new tank as well. While we were down there, we took off the rear subframe. Saw a couple of things, a couple of bushings that we can make to stiffen up. So. We're in the process of making uh, all new bushings for these cars, uh, the rear subframe bushings. Actually, we got a couple of them made already. These are for the front radius rods. These are actually available now. These are going on the car this week. I'll get a video of that install of that. Also, the next thing we're going to be doing is um, we got a Coney Yellow setup on there with some ground control coilovers. We're going to be removing that because we are getting ready to launch a P2R brand suspension for the vehicle. And before we release it, we want to do a lot of testing with it on our car. So this is the first look at the suspension that we're going to be putting on the car. So I'm going to give you guys the first startup, let you hear what the car sounds like. track with the stock engine, the transmission the way it is, the new suspension setup, get some solid lap times in on the car. When we can get those solid lap times in, see where the car is at, and we'll start to improve from there. So pretty much that's why I call this a reset. We went back to a stock engine and we're going to work our way up the ladder. Get faster each and every weekend. Um, you know, hopefully nothing breaks. If nothing breaks, we continue to move forward. If something breaks, we'll fix it and we'll continue to move forward as well. So I hope you enjoyed the first video of the P2R uh, reset, P2R Accord reset uh, video series. If you got any questions, want to find out anything about the car, um, 
doing a swap in your cord or your TL or something, you want information, please uh, write a comment, ask below. I'll try to cover it in the next video. And uh, hopefully we'll get on the dyno for the next video. Show you guys where our base numbers are at so we see what horsepower we're gonna go on our first track event with. Uh, follow and subscribe and please um, ask your questions.